shoot now, and it's going to be a it's going to be a whopper, I would say. I mean, I've got my my costume in this suitcase here uh, because I don't fancy wearing that all the way uh, into London and everything. I mean, uh, maybe if it was Comic Con, I would have done it, but when I have the option of choice, I'm gonna keep it safe and secure. I can't risk that scarf getting trapped in a door or something because then that would be the end of me. Uh, <laughs> But no, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be so fun. And seeing everyone is going to be great. And oh, it's just such a vibe about this that I am really just tremendously excited for. And it's not often you get to play a Doctor Who card game, is it? Hello, hello. So today's going to be a fairly different kind of video. I mean, I hardly get the chance to do unboxing videos half the time. So this is going to be fun. And, I mean, I say unboxing, but I mean, I've already looked inside and stolen some of the goodies, but, you know, for the interests and purposes of this video, it is indeed an unboxing video. I was wonderfully and delightfully invited to try out the all-new Doctor Who Magic the Gathering cards by Wizards of the Coast and YRS Truly, or yours truly. It was a lot of fun, it was great to try out those cards and actually learn to play Magic the Gathering for the first time because I have never played it in my life. I'm usually a fan of a certain other card game, but it was great to just like unleash my inner anime protagonist and take part in a fun dashing game completely at the seat of my pants. So, you know, it was a lot of fun. It was great. But of course, throughout this video, I'll be showing you some behind the scenes of that, uh, some words I had with my fellow card players in this particular part of the video. I'm going to be showing you what's inside this very lovely gift box that Rizzers of the Coast have sent to me. So what have I exactly gotten in this large dark cuboid? Well, let's take another look at my day on set and then we'll find out. You can see there's a little TARDIS there. It looks like, oh! That's going to be the dirty one as well. Oh, this is really cool. This is such a cool atmosphere. And this is where we're going to be playing the game and of course the crew are really, really Oh, that's the director. They're really busy right now. Everything's still being set up, but we'll be playing eventually, and it's gonna be rad. So your boy's dressed up and ready to go. I'm not long till we start shooting, and it's looking really good out there. There's got like a TARDIS and everything. It is looking so cool. And yeah, I'm in my season 18 Tom Baker costume. A miraculous that I found all the parts because I moved home recently. Thought I lost a bit. I mean, for enough, I did have to buy a new pair of trousers because the other ones have just mysteriously gone missing. I don't know where, and I'll probably find them tonight. So, you know, you know the drill. This knitted myself. Uh, this obviously is all come with the outfit. And of course, the coat. It's all very nice. It's nice to be wearing this again. I haven't worn it in quite a long time, so it's cool that it's going to be in uh, such a cool project. I'm looking forward to getting started, but yeah. Fun times ahead, folks. Fun times ahead. And I'm going to end up getting glammed up. I've never been in a hair and makeup department, but you know what? It's the first time for everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look fantastic. I'm getting really dark. <laughs> 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 it's actually complicated. She's got it. No, no. Yeah, great job. Once again, this is just so cool. So again, thank you so much to Wizard of the Coast and everyone involved into shipping these little packages to me and all the other Hootubers and other Who creatives that have gotten the same thing. So like, thank you. Anyway, what's in the box? Well, as you can see, we've got the four current decks of the Universes Beyond Doctor Who Magic the Gathering Commander decks. So one by one, let's have a look. So we've got the, uh, if you excuse the confetti, We've got the Commander deck, Blast from the Past. So this one features the first eight Doctors. I played with this one in the video. And it's got characters from the Classic Era and Companions, all the Doctors, obviously. It's very good if you know your Classic Who. It's extraordinary how much detail that they have gone to in terms of this. Uh, moving on from that, Masters of Evil deck. So this one is all about the villains. So you've got characters like Davros, Missy, and all those various like evil creatures from the depths of both classic who and new who again fantastic attention to detail i have got ellie here we are well we're, are we ready no i don't know <laughs> if we're ready or not it's going to be interesting i'm excited I'm, I'm excited too i'm not playing the oh, game so i just get you, to watch yes. you enjoy the yeah. game 
um, and just laugh when people don't know what's going on. Yeah, so you can come over and periodically quiz us. Yeah. And then we'll be caught off guard and not know what to say. Absolutely. That's what you're going to do. You're gonna That's what I'm going to do. That's my yeah. job today. Just yeah, to put everyone yeah. on the spot. So, after Masters of Evil, we have Time You Why Me. So this one is focused on the first three new Who Doctor decks. So, obviously we've got the 9th Doctor, we've got the 10th Doctor, and 11th Doctor, and we've got characters involved from those eras. Perfect for any new Who fan. This is probably the set that I'm probably most inclined to play with because I love those eras so much. They were my child favourites. And I think that's going to be the same for a lot of people. So, yeah, this one is just really, really cool. And again, across the entire sets, the artwork, because you can see this lovely picture of David right here. It's incredible just being able to create so many different little arts for as little prompts as possible or characters. Ah, I wish I could draw. And that leaves Paradox Power. So this deck will be focusing on the 12th and 13th Doctors. These decks in general, like, it's 100 cards in each one. They are going to be magnificent to just pick up and play with. So you can literally just get any one you want, depending on your favourite era, or what sort of character archetypes you want to go for. You can just go for it. And it got so much packed into them. So I'm here with Vince and Jasmine, the couple of the others I've been playing the game with. Yeah. How do you think it went today? I think it went smashing. Yeah, I enjoy playing Magic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm playing the villain today. Oh. What happens if you guys playing Doctor Who, like, Magic? Because you've obviously played it before. I haven't played that much, obviously. Today's my first time playing Doctor Who Magic. Yeah. I've played Magic for, like, We're on equal yeah. footing. Yeah. I have not played for 20 years. But, but yeah, you are definitely the legendary player. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am a He's legend. He's the senior in more ways than one. Yes. <laughs> oh, am I the oldest player at the table? Oh, I, think so. I didn't realise that. That makes me feel really old. <laughs> Just think about the experience. Yes, yes, just the experience. I don't normally look like this either. Just to clear, I don't normally look like a panda bear. Yeah, you're going a bit gothic. Yeah, I was going to say, some dark, some dark. They're looking in dark in this lighting too. Because so. you're a new dad. That is the reason, so not because I'm cosplaying as a villain. This is what you're going to look from now on. Yes, sunken eyes. So the grey is purely artificial. Like, I think I rock the grey, it's more the two eyes like I've been punched in the face that I think is the issue. But anyway, it's not about how I look, I'm not making a throwaway line. No, talk more the about... thing. you are the master now today. Yeah, so self-absorption I assume is something that the, the villains of Doctor Who have, right? Yeah. Some yeah. of them, yeah, yeah. So, I'm in the role, that's what it is. Definitely. I've learned more about the stack in mm. playing this set than I have in any other yeah. one because it manipulates time so much, which is apt for yeah. Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's complexity to it, but I think it's a good thing. I think it adds richness to the, yeah. to the game. You have play. to have your fundamentals down. To play yes. The set. Yeah. Well, well I think two of the decks are quite good for beginners, but two of yeah. them are a little bit more complicated. <laughs> Me and Crystal have been the relative newbies. Uh, you, but... you did all right. He, he was full on doing whole like gestures and things that I was like, oh, he knows. He knows what card players are like. Well, it's made me want to play Magic more anyway. So. Good. good. Game's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. And you can find Vince at Pleasant Kenobi. That's me. And Jasmine at That Bronze Girl. Yep. I've also been handed a couple of booster packs. So what we will do is that we are going to open these and find out what beauty is within them? We have the 15 cards. So let's start off with the first one. We have a basic clue card, which doubles as an alien angel. So we've got a reaping angel. First strike, vigilance. So we have Missy. Oh, that's cool. And this is some alternative art as well. So lovely, lovely. We love to see it. Got a nice little TARDIS backing on that. Who else? We have... The Sixth Doctor. Lovely. Again, a nice little alternatively done card. And his ability, Time Lord's Prerogative. Whenever you cast a historic spell, copy it, except the copy isn't legendary. This ability triggers only once per turn. Nice, nice, nice. Moving on, we have Danny Pink from Series 8. Now, this is a character I didn't really expect to find, but you know... This is really going to some levels to just include most of those supporting characters. And that's something I really like about these decks. They've just really taken them. It's like the old Battles and Time cards. Uh, just taken up for a modern audience. After this we have... Waterlogged Grove. So this one is from Sharda. Beware the spear, beware Scargrub, beware Sharda. Professor Chronotis. Sharda's very underrated. Unfortunately never completed, but the animation is really good. Next. Amy, 
partner with Rory Williams. <laughs> uh, she owns him so much that he's on the card as well. Inspiring refrain. I love the Ood. So this is from Planet of the Ood. This is very nice, very nice. Perry, another companion. I love it. Now, Perry is, I find, a very underrated companion. I really like her, man. I really, really like her. Ah, Bill! And this one is Ponda. No, this is cool. I love this. And the artwork for Bill as well. Bill is another underrated companion, I find, but she is very, very well portrayed in Series 10 by Bill Mackey. Very cool. Reading Ring. So this one is, I believe, this has got to be River Song based. After this, we have the, website, an Amy Pond the Arcane card. Signet and the Fifth Doctor. Very nice. In his final season outfit, season 21, with the double striped jumper. Lovely attention to detail once again. And we've got a basic mountain land card. Got another TARDIS there. I'm going to wait until they turn the lights on. I've the fancy stuff. So, I found Crystal. Hi. How do you think it's going? So good. So good. A, I'm learning a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Like, we're kind of learning the game as we go along. Yeah. I mean, we didn't know much about it. Not at play. first. Not at first. But then we learned quite a lot, and we've got yeah. some very experienced magic players with us. Exactly. Who are helping us. Yeah, and yeah. we're making some very good plays, I like to think. I think so. I mean, we're filming this when we're halfway through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, could be the best decision to come, or we could demolish everything. Who knows? Or who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> so, we just finished filming the game, and bly, what an intense game that was. No, I really had a good time with that. That was really, really fun. Yeah, so we're just doing a little bit of extra bits and pieces right now. Uh, there's, I mean, Eddie's just filming some bits downstairs right now, and everyone's just waiting their turn to do things, I guess, myself included. And no, it's been a really fantastic day and these cars are really, they're really awesome. The artists they chose for this are extraordinarily talented and you should just see the bits of art on these cars. It, it's mind blowing really. And again, they have picked such moments and scenarios and places from the deepest of Who lore that it is just, <laughs> mind-blowing like you can tell they had some proper fans working on this and it really shows no it's been great it's been great so far what's gonna happen next i don't know but i'm going back downstairs to enjoy more of this day Right, let's dive into what is in the rest of the box. So, they were delightful enough to give us these lovely marshmallows, which are now basically almost gone, I must admit. Yes, I do love a good marshmallow. And as well as that, we got some vegan jelly babies in this little bag here. These were also quite tasty, and all that remains uh, is this, which I shall now consume. And what else do we have? So they've also sent me these lovely dry erase playing cards and markers as well. So effectively, these basically have nothing on them at all. So they're blank pieces, but you can obviously draw on them and effectively make up your own playing cards. So I think this is a really cool idea that I didn't know existed until just this minute. Oh, this is a highlight. Got psychic paper. We love to see it. Obviously, it's got one of those dry erase cards in it. It's representing a little bit of paper. But, you know, that is awesome. I love it. Psychic paper. You know, I actually had a pe uh, like a, a proper psychic paper that I had with one of those old Sonic screwdriver sets back in, like, the 2000s. But somehow I lost it. So I really would needed another one for my 10 cosplay. And I was looking about for one that wasn't ludicrously priced. But you know what? I'm going to accept this. This is my new prop. I love this. Nice. Next, we've got a playing mat. Love this. Next, we have another 10th Doctor prop, and that is the 3D glasses seen in Doomsday. I do love 3D specs. The thing is, I remember when they were all the rage back in old cinema days, when you go to a film and see a 3D movie, well, like Spy Kids 3D or something. Was it 4D or 3D? I mean, it's probably 3D, obviously, but 
at the same time, I remember watching that with these sorts of glasses. Or was it those black, like, plasticky ones that look like sunglasses or sonic shades? I can't actually remember, but I know I did rarely to see something at some point. All those little, like, in the magazines when you had those things with the red and blue stripes around them and it combined to make it look three-dimensional. Those were fun. Those were very fun. They should not bring those back. Um, <laughs> something every duelist needs, a deck box. So we've got 100 plus two-piece deck box. So stores and protects up to 100 cards, which is very delightful. And obviously, there are 100 cards in each of those decks, so this comes in perfectly. So I'm here with Ellie again. Hello. So you've just been doing some hosting. I have. How was that for you? Um, a little bit scary, but uh, I didn't forget my lines, so it was all good. That's the very least you can ask for, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you've been mostly waiting around, but fortunately you can do stuff now, so... Uh... Yeah, I can chill, I can relax now that my bit's done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Look at the lovely old girl. We can touch it. I mean, you probably shouldn't touch it, but... You can touch it, theoretically, like that. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so finally, yes, I'd just like to say a massive thank you so much to Magic the Gathering, Wizards of the Coast and YRS Truly for just being so welcoming, so fun and so cool to work with on this and a delightfully big surprise it was to just have all these little goodies in this little box and honestly thank you so much for this opportunity and I hope all of you watching at home enjoyed it as well. Definitely these decks, if you are into card games, into Magic the Gathering, definitely recommend them because it is who trivia galore, honestly. So, by all means, feel free to dive in if this is your first experience with Magic the Gathering like it was for me. And it's really fun. Go for it, if you fancy it, of course. So that's all from me today. Thank you for watching. And until next time, see ya.